The next step would be a configuring required endpoints, message stores, and message processors together with uh, a proxy service to demonstrate our scenario. So I'll start off with creating an endpoint. To do so, you need to start DSP server first of all. You can go to the bin directory and then again type uh, wso2server.sh file. If you are Windows platform, you need to uh, go with wso2server.bat file. So, since I'm in Linux format, uh, Linux format uh, platform, I'm going to start the server using wso2server.sh file. So you can see ESB has been started on 9443, whereas MB started on 9444 since we made a port offset value change. So now I'm going to create the endpoint. I'm going to copy this endpoint value here. We need to go to ESB cons management console. So you can log into the management ESP uh, management console using by default admin username and using admin as a password. So here I am. So I'm going to create endpoint. Go to service bus. Click on endpoints. Select add endpoint. Address endpoint. Paste the address endpoint address, and we can use this in, uh, name as sample endpoint right then save it so the next step is going to be creating a message store to do so go to uh, service bus again and then select message stores Click on add custom message so give the name as MS SMS MB and the provider class would be this provider class would be this. So there are three parameters we need to add. Factory initial first of all. And the value is going to be file initial context factory. Add the parameter. Provider URL. Copy the value, and store the image des destination. We are providing with the name. And save it. So you can see a store being successfully added. The next step is going to be adding a message processor yet again you go to service pass and then select message processors in this scenario we are going to add a scheduled message forwarding processor so click on schedule message forwarding processor we are going to use name as mb underscore message processor And of course, the endpoint 
the one we created earlier sample endpoint since we already created this message store it has been already selected so there are some additional parameters you can define for example uh, maximum delivery attempts if you define this as 3 or some other value uh, what will happen for an example think of a scenario where uh, suddenly when we are sending the message uh, the access to endpoints uh, was shut down or was not available then message processor will try to consume uh, the message from the queue and send it to the endpoint three times and if all three times was not, were not successful uh, message processor will get itself deactivated automatically so when you are sending the message for the next time we will have to uh, manually uh, activate the message process so uh, for this purpose I am not going to configure any other value other than these three uh, name and point name and message too so I am going to save it as it is so you can see the message process is being created now right the next process is going to be uh, adding a proxy set proxy service so uh, to do so you need to go to management console and select services add proxy service so to create a cust uh, proxy we have, I'm going to click on custom proxy we'll give you proxy name as uh, simple proxy right so as you can see uh, in the proxy we are configuring publish uh, publish ws will be a URA so uh, I'm going to give it as publishing whistle so I'm going to select specify source URL you have to copy this value So it has been successfully connected. That is because uh, in access to server we are running simple stick stock code service. So uh, click on next. And as you can see here, we are defining uh, in sequence with properties force SC accepted and out only. So uh, just to give you an idea. Force SC accepted uh, properties uh, when we set it to as true, then this property forces uh, 202 HTTP response to the client so that it stops waiting for a response. And regarding out only, uh, when we set that to true, uh, the message is indicated that no response message is expected for it once it is powered from the ESP. So the advantage of this is basically it prevents ESP from registering unnecessary callbacks for response handling and eventually running out of memory so I'm going to use these uh, two properties together with the message to so uh, to configure the proxy select define inline in, in sequence create add child select core and go to property So I'll copy this property name for sexy accepted. <coughs> Set the value as true. And the scope, as you can see, should be access to. So I'm selecting scope as the access to. Click up, update. And then again, uh, I'm going to add another property. Go to core property. Select out only. So you can see the scope here, the default scope that is synapse configuration. So synapse scope. So value should be set as true. An update. Final step would be adding a store. So you need to click on add child, select advance go to store <coughs> this has been already selected because uh, we have already created this message to earlier 
so click on update right then we are done with proxy service we have already given the publisher whistle publish whistle and um, press save and close press next so as per our configuration we are not defining any out sequence here of false sequence as well so click finish now our proxy also been created and of course we can start the ESP server it's been all